What's going on, everybody? It's your girls, Misa and Mia from Eminem Live Radio, and we're here on the Dove Awards red carpet. I don't know about y'all, but I hear them horses coming. Uh oh. I hear them horses coming. Indy Tribe is in the building. <laughs> Man, all the guys are in the building. Y'all, fellas, how y'all feeling? Feeling great. Yeah. Listen, y'all nominated tonight. Yeah. Low blow. I work out to it every day. So how are we feel? How are we feeling about? How are we feeling about being nominated? It's amazing. It's yeah. amazing, especially us being independent. You know, fully independent. Um, and being able to be at the Dove Awards nominated, it's our second time nominated. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it feels like we're, we're knocking down some doors, you know Absolutely. what I'm saying? And people are listening, so it's dope. Absolutely. Now listen, okay, I thought it was four of them. New member, we got to New member right here standing <laughs> beside us. Now what has it been like being added to such a great collective like Indie Tribe? Man, it's been dope because I've been here the whole time, so I just got added on paper, but <laughs> i really been Indie Tribe the whole time. These been my boys for the longest. Uh, and this has been super dope. It's super communal. Everybody always asks me, is it a label? <laughs> I'm like, nah, nah, these my brothers. These these my best friends. So, yeah, it's just the music is is an outpour of, like, of, of just what it's like living life with them. So, yeah. Man, we've been following the tribe for a minute. Y'all have grown and evolved in so many ways with new, new members, a festival that just wrapped, man. I want to talk about how you guys have been pushing the boundaries and honestly being pioneers in the CHH space. John, talk about what it's like being able to create spaces for indie artists, CHH, indie tribe, the whole nine. Yeah, you know, well, first of all, like, we really do love the Christian hip hop space, you know what I'm saying? Like, like we love excellent art that's created for the glory of God, you know what I'm saying? So, like, we love being able to elevate and give platform not only to the artists that, like, you know, have already done things like, you know, being able to bring someone in like KB or like Cray or like Andy, you know what I'm saying? But also elevating artists that you might not know about yet that we think is, that we think they're amazing. You know what I'm saying? And so like, yeah, like we're super passionate about it and we're just, we're glad to be able to be a part of people's journey. Man, we, we've always rocked with the tribe, always. Always. Now, Mowgli, talk to me really quick. Okay, you got so much going on. We love Indy 500. There's so much happening with this group. Tell us what's next for y'all. Well, right now, I'm getting ready to be a dad. Uh, yeah, Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. My daughter's coming this January. So, I mean, like, honestly, this is changing the way I see my purpose, my role in life. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how I can logistically navigate, you know, making a music and, and being a father. But I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm really excited to create from a perspective of so much purpose that is, is unlike anything I've felt before. Now listen, now before we go, Michael, you're not going to hide back there, bro. Bodega 2, I want to know about it. What can you tell us about Bodega 2 or anything else on the way from you? It's definitely going to drop in October. I don't know when. Okay. Genuinely. But it's done. I'm just waiting on 95 to mix it. So yeah. hopefully by the time this airs, it'll be done. Now listen, y'all dropped Indy 500 this year. I want to know from somebody, what's next? Another project? A deluxe Indy 500, like, can you tell me anything, anything that's okay. in the works? So, Dill told me to plug, so I'm a plug. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. this is my, yeah, my, yeah, my yeah. first album in my whole career is coming out October 18th. Uh, it's going to be a movie, it's called Come and See. It's based off the scripture, John 146. What good can come from Nazareth? What good can come from East St. Louis? What good can come from a hard situation? Jesus told us to come and see. Come and see October 18th. Oh, man, I love, don't you love these group of guys? Like, they're just so awesome. You guys have encouraged and just uh, created so much for this space. Like, literally with Christian hip-hop, you are blazing, trailblazing ways. And I just simply want to say thank you for all that y'all do. Listen, listen, before you're done, before you're done, this was a Tori Deshaun album, right? But this is a Tribe album. This is Tori Deshaun's Tribe debut. And, and this man is, like, humbling himself out of how crazy this album is going to be. This album is the most crazy album that has ever come out of our space. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Tori's DNA is different. He's the one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Tori's a true Israelite. He's a true Israelite. <laughs> Listen, Listen, man, we got Indie Tribe here with Eminem yes. Live Radio at the 55th Annual GMA Devil Awards. We'll talk to you guys later. Guys, Thanks so great seeing y'all. Thank you. Hey, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this interview. Listen, if you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And listen, if you want more exclusive content from us at the GMA Devil Awards, be sure to subscribe to our Patreon. The link is in the description below.